In this video, we will learn about parallel and skew lines. You might remember something about parallel lines from algebra. Parallel lines are two lines that never intersect. They also have to be in the same plane. So on this screen, these two lines are in the same plane, and if they never intersect, then they are parallel. The way we notate that two lines are parallel is with little arrows, like this. Because there's one arrow on each, it means that these two lines match and are parallel. This is especially convenient when we're looking at shapes that have parallel lines. For example, this shape is a parallelogram and has two pairs of parallel lines. The way we would notate that it's a parallelogram is to add in arrows. This set of arrows shows that the side on the left and the side on the right are parallel. And this set of arrows, now I'm using two arrows so those match up, shows that the side on top and the side on bottom are parallel. If you are referring to two lines being parallel in text and you need to know how to write that out in symbolic notation, this is how you do it. First, let's go back to these original two lines and label them with letters a, B, C, and D. So what if I wanted to say A, B is parallel to C, D? This is how you'd write that. You'd write your line A, B with the line symbol on top, and then you put two bars like this. They look basically like parallel lines, and then C, D. And the way you would read that is A, B is parallel to C, D. One interesting thing about parallel lines is that they hold or have a transitive property. What I mean is, if we have a first line, which is parallel to a second line, and this second line is parallel to a third line, then that means that all three of these lines are parallel. Another word that you should know is the word transversal. Anytime you have parallel lines and another line crosses them, like this, that crossing line is called a transversal because it cuts through the other parallel lines, the transversal. The last thing that we need to talk about is our skew lines. Now, skew lines are very similar to parallel lines. In fact, they are also lines that never intersect. However, Skew lines are in different planes, whereas parallel lines are always in the same plane. So to think about skew lines, we're going to think about a cube, because a cube lets us think about different planes. In a cube, each face represents a different plane. So I'm going to, in this cube, highlight two skew lines. The first line I'm going to highlight is this one, and of course you could think about this line going on forever. And the second line I'm going to uh, highlight is this one in the back. So these two lines are skew lines because they will never intersect if you were to extend them on forever. And they're also not in the same plane, so they're not technically parallel lines, they're called skew lines. So the things you need to remember are both skew lines and parallel lines never intersect, although parallel lines are in the same plane and skew lines are not in the same plane. Some other vocabulary and notation in text, this symbol is the symbol for parallel, and if we're notating it on our picture, we use little arrows matching to show that two lines are parallel. And the last thing is this transversal is a line that crosses parallel lines.